Her CDs are high, but it's not like she has to use every single CD to trade with you. That's why she's strong. It's like, if Jack jumps on me, I can just W backwards, Q him, and then I still have E. Like, you know, I, I can just trade with him with W, Q, and not use my E. Or I can use my W, E, and save my Q. And as long as I save one skill, I have a dash, so I can escape on the next trade. So if you sequence your spells and cycle them in a way where you're only using the skills, like, you're making sure that you're not getting caught, uh, this champion seems to just win lane. And I get that that requires skill and foresight. And I get that, that's, uh, that those are skills that are not um, universal in League of Legends. You do need to... You, this is a high skill champion. You do need to play her well. She has high cooldowns, skill shots, um, lots of dashes. Like, in order to use these traits, you do need to play very well. I'm 100% sh I'm, I'm uh, in agreement with that. But my point is, if you do, you're overpowered as fuck. Like, I'll show you this, this matchup. is miserable for Jax. It really is. I don't know what he's supposed to do. Like, I'm looking at it when I'm playing against Jax, and I'm like, well, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do if I'm playing the Jax side of this matchup. I just lose. <clears throat> I start Q in this matchup instead of the W, because Wing into his E is not necessary. You can do it afterwards. And if he takes push, you can play to freeze on him. But uh, you can also take push, because... You can just be brutal like this. And you have extra range on your basics, so like, what are you supposed to do as Jax? Like, he's supposed to walk into me and E there? He'll get one basic at best. Like, look at that shit, man. He didn't even get the fight back. Like, it's not just the extra, like, it's not just the dashes. It's the bonus range on basics. It's everything in this champion's kit. It's just fucked up. <laughs> I don't know, is this supposed to be a weak champion early game? Like, I fucking killed him in two Qs. And now it's just worse for him. <laughs> like, what, what was his counterplay there? Hit me into my 120 health shield level 1? So, like, I get it that she requires skill to pull this off, and that's why a lot of people, like, think that she's weak or something, because, like, you know, you're probably playing her in ranked and, like, platinum, emerald, diamond, maybe, and you're like, oh, she's weak early, I can fight her. But no, if she doesn't let you, you can't play the game. It's disgusting. I initially thought, oh, she seems balanced, and then I learned how to play her, and I'm like, wow, this champion is, like, brutal to lane against. And I can even poke on their tower like that whilst tanking tower shots, bro. <laughs> and now he jumps on me, I'll just be backwards. I hit him with that E, by the way. <laughs> like, look at this shit, he's almost in ignite range. Like, tell me what this guy is supposed to do. He hasn't even tried to fight me. Um, she, like, walked up and jailed him on her tower. I could have ignited him and killed him, but... Maybe I should have just ignited him anyway. I don't know why. He's losing a million CS, so that's good enough. Got his flash there, pretty good. Oh, not that good, actually. They're at least here. Need to dodge the spear, no other excuse. If that was Canyon, I would have got hit by it. Fortunately, it's not. Next spear. Are you serious? You have Q up. Fuck, I should have basic her. But like... I might not overpower the shit. I don't know, I feel like a pretty strong champion early game, if you ask me. That was my bad, though. Nice lose by Cole, because I can't lose early game anyway. Like, watch, he'll try and jump on me, I have a feeling. And that was when he had his E. Trying to stop him from crashing the wave here. Oh, he leveled up so I can't kill him here, that's unfortunate. Oh, I actually died to that? Fuck, I shouldn't have eat first, I should have just basic them. Not too bad. And this is me going cold and just fighting him to the death, which is the worst way to, for me to play. I can still st nearly start check Jax when he has his passive fully stacked because he's pushing my wave. 
I'm sold that this champion is really OP in lane. I'm just not sold that she's OP later, but I think she is. Because if you go Bruiser build, she's like way too strong. Like if you go Shoujin into Death Dance type of shit, I think she's way too strong. I need to participate here. Wait, the guy just ditched? Really? He baited that fight and then just ran away. What? That makes no fucking sense. I mean, I get that it's a losing fight, I'm just not sure why he baited it. Like, he walked into them. As if he was useful. I'll ward here just to get vision on these crogs. I can collapse on her if need be. Mm -hmm. Also, there's that Q2 that, like, obviously, like, broken as shit. Is Nidalee here or what? Oh, she is. Fuck. Missed the spear, though, so I think I can escape because I have 10 billion dashes. She hit the spear, I was dead, but fortunately she missed. I had a feeling that Lee was there, but I was—I I realized too late. I can kill him here if I hit six. I have to dash backwards there in all their choice. Gwen is right here, so... Something good will happen. He has ult soon, the Jax. Well, that's one kill at least. Nice. And my shield is back up, and it's obviously a broken skill, so I just face tank our whole combo. That's what I mean, like, obviously you need to be really skilled with this champion to abuse her. I'm not gonna argue that. But this is not a champion that can possibly be balanced if the user is skilled. Unless the shield makes it so you can fight her when you're all inning her. But as long as you can't fight her during her shield, because the number is insane, like, right now it's- I don't even have much bonus AD, and it's 200. It starts the game at 100 something, if you take AD in your runes. How are you supposed to beat the champion when it plays bone plating shield bash? You don't even need grasp necessarily in, like, every matchup, but I like it in these kind of matchups, because you obviously- you squeeze a lot of value from it. I also like going this, um, Trojan item first, I prefer it over Eclipse. Like, there, if he jumps on me and he stuns me, right? I have my passive stacks, so as long as I chase him with my W, I'll completely murder him. See what I mean? I don't know, bros. And now he has to all in me and my Q's back up, so... Wait, my Gwen is based. Fuck, that's awkward. If he has flush, I'm fucked. Okay, he did not flush, but... So I'm fine, I think. Oh, he leveled up. Fuck! Oh, my Gwen was like recalling in the bush right there. I thought he was gonna cancel his base, but uh, I didn't realize Nidalee was here. Wait, what? I'm confused. I didn't- oh, Am I crazy? Can anyone in my chat confirm that my Gwen was basing right here when Jax was running straight into her? Am I crazy? I, I swear I saw her base right here! So I was like, oh fuck, I was just gonna kill him with Gwen collapsing. But no, she was like, nah, I'm good. Why is Triforce not an item? Because it has too much attack speed. Attack speed is not a stat you need on her, because he has it built into her kit. So you don't want to ever stand there and auto-attack someone to death, because that's just not how you play her. So it's a terrible item. Also, she doesn't want to sequence her spells in a way where she, like, waits for Sheen Proxy when she wants to burst you. This is why this item sucks on her. It doesn't suck on her, it's just not as good as alternatives. That's the... That's the way I want you to look at it. It's a fine item, you can buy it and have success. It's just not better than her alternatives, because... Um, attack speed is such a wasted stat on her. Like, you'd rather have all this attack speed be in AD. If it was all in AD, Triforce would be a great item, but... Because AD, like, attack speed is such a wasted stat on her, it's really hard to feel like it's a good item. But you notice how Jax has been laning against me 1v2, basically, this entire lane? Uh, with Nidalee literally ganking me, I think, four or five times by minute nine? Yeah. Because when Nidalee doesn't gank, this is what happens. He just gets poked under his tower. I could have W'd there, I maybe should have, but I decided not to. I should also E and then uh, dash backwards with the E. That's better. I think that's also a part of her kit that's like underexplored. It's like Eing melee range. And uh, dashing backwards with it. Like, hello? Look at my health, look at his health. I get I got Turok ulted for 200 health, but still, even if I didn't. Oh, by the way, I have sustain on minions too, just in case you were wondering. Why? I have 
God knows, honestly. Also, that hitbox on the Q being behind her as well like that, and so I can hit the creep there and get my Q2 is kind of deceptive as well. Because it looks like I missed it, right? So he might think, oh, I can see us now. That would have been a terrible mistake on his part. I'm going to award because I don't want to die for the 17th time to a gank. Now, obviously, if you mess up on this champion, it's a bit like Irelia. Like, look at that. That's what I meant with, like, the E backwards things. Like, dude, like, he jumped on me and he couldn't even fight back. Like, right now he's getting desperate because he realizes he's almost in kill range for me. And this is all the while he's not even, like, really CSing much. <laughs> like, I'm playing single player, bro. Nice. Just have to use W to cancel his recall there. Nidalee is top. I can almost kill him 1v2, but Nidalee will kill me, so... And through the wave, it won't kill. Their whole team is here? It's not just Nidley? No, it's just Pike. Nidley CBA is cancelling her camp for thingy. I'm gonna one-shot the wave here and run. Yeah, I'm aware. Hopefully you guys are doing something useful whilst I'm 1v3ing them. And winning. I'm gonna wait until I've Shoujin before I base TP. Don't have anything to recall for anyway. But look at my HP, bro. And I sent him home. Like, he can't lane home. Has to be kind of fucked up, no? Hello, Kale? Your laner is inting. Maybe you'd want to go collect the kill? No? You want to push the wave? So, this is with him having a recall advantage and me starting the fight low. You can't make this shit up, bro. I'm gonna base TP, I'll sell my refillable and get my item with Nilly here, and then I need to be careful. I'm gonna TP on the wave so I can chase him a bit. Definitely think once he gets items, it gets better for him, but. That's a once, you know, once. Once he gets them, he took the plants. Uh, there was two apparently, so he took both plants and he's gonna stay. But that's okay, I can still, I think, squeeze under the tower. Not that I've chosen. My bot lane's getting kinda shit on if they lose their tower at 13, but that's life. Oh, we can still win. Our scaling is good. The viewers that are very much paying attention to the game are noticing that I'm doing this to him under his tower. Like, what the fuck? Fuck. Missed. Gabi. Thought I could kill him before anyone comes, and I've struck on near me, so... I want to contest the Herald here. With the top gap, but first I must push. I don't have another choice. What are you doing, Soraka? Walking into him in a straight fucking line? No wonder my bot lane is anything. What the fuck? He has flash, I can't commit there. Dead, maybe? No, saved by heal. Lucky. Yeah, it looks like my, uh, my mid and, my mid and uh, support are... Not the best. Fortunately for me, he was snoozing at the wheel. Nice, I needed that kill to get uh, some advantage here. Because it's been a struggle. But actually, that's Rock Alto's clutch. Oh, minus one. She's still doing the Herald. Can I fuck with her? How low is it? This one might be coming. I'll investigate. I think I can be annoying here for sure. I don't know if I can kill her next team, maybe. 
fuck. Their pike was here as well. I thought it was just Ezreal. If it was just Ezreal, I could have bought time. This guy's completely AFK though. If he came with ulti, it would have been huge. We got our flush. That's not terrible, but still. Jax is going to take my tower for this because I'm going to dead for so long. And he's just going to walk back to lane and right click my tower. So that's not great. I was hoping I could kill her there, but I was uh, overzealous. She had flush. If she didn't have flush, I could have killed her though. Uh, let's see. I'm not a huge fan of Cleaver personally, but if you like it, you can buy it. It just takes too long to stack. It takes her whole combo to stack it, and then what? Literally, then what? I'm pretty convinced Cyclosword is worth building on her even second. Like, I think that item is just OP on this champion. Because uh, you dash so much that you get a bunch of the, the value, and the stats are perfect. With all the ability, haste, AD, there's nothing more you want on this champion. So in a, in a game like this, it's either that or uh, Sundered Sky, I think. And I'm not sure which one I prefer more just yet. Fuck, I, I missed because he, he jumped. I have to just go farm the wave, I won't catch up. If she doesn't win, then I don't want to drop an entire two minion wave to chase him there, to be honest. Oh, that sucks. I mean, she can't reach and there's no flush, so it's fine. That kind of sucks. Uh, I maybe altered it a tad a smidge early. I wanted to do it from Fog of War. And it was just mashing his jump key. Feel free to build what works for you, though. Test it out and just build whatever works for you, I don't mind. Well, on the bright side, Kayla is farming, so uh, hopefully she will contribute to the game later. I definitely think she could have moved through some situations and fights with her ultimate. I think playing Kayla in a way where you don't use your the fact that your ultimate's really strong in skirmishes is like a big waste. Like, you definitely have to play around your ult because it's such a big cooldown, right? But... I don't think you need to, like, not connect to the game when it's not perfect for you, you know? No, he just walked into me, that's my bad. Mm, silence could have been placed aggressively, that would have been great. Just trying to go as hard as possible here. A bit too much, maybe. I think this fight will be fine, though. Ash is coming. Tank the spear for zero. That's not good. Literally no flash, so if I hit her with my ult, it's big. Let's just go up here. It's fine. I mean, if Gale is just going bot, then that's fine. We're just trading. I want to ult the uh, Nidalee. Nice. Yeah, not loud. They're TPing over there, so I'm just gonna keep pushing. I'm not gonna make it to defend that, so may as well just keep pushing. Pike won't let us all recall anyway, so I'm just gonna be annoying and try to take a tier 2. If Gwen can defend, that's great. Nice, got my item. I'm gonna go recall now. I mean, Loki, I'm gonna pivot into Death Dance. I realize I have fucking Soraka, so I'm never gonna die if we got Death Dance and MR. Like, well, what else are they supposed to do? If I got Death Dance into, like, an MR item, am I ever gonna die? I don't think so. I'm just gonna die, grab Death Dance because I can afford it in one go. It'll cover my uh, armor needs against uh, Jax, Ezreal, and Pike, and then I'm gonna go into an MR item. I could go Spirit Visage, but something tells me that's a bit of an overcommitment. But honestly, it sounds pretty appealing. The, the reason I don't like Maw when I have Death Dance is because, unfortunately, there's an interaction where Maw... Like, your Death Dance, bleeding, eats in, doesn't eat into your Maw Shield. So Maw procs, but you're still bleeding from Death Dance, and it just doesn't end up being that great. It's not terrible, but they're gonna buy onto healing anyway, so I don't have, a, I don't have confidence that I'll out-heal the Death Dance bleed. I have a ward, I can TP here. I'll TP, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I think I can cook something if he deals some damage. But uh, I think he kinda griefed. I didn't get a basic off, so I can't fucking move. That was a really nice arrow. That might be what I needed to escape. Oh, little spike there. Gwen isn't coming, so I need to play it slower. I mean, Soraka is not balanced. But neither am I. 
Next jump, you're dead. Boom. So I got cooked. I mean, the arrow was actually clutch as fuck. It's why I lived. This rock is gaming. I know, right? Absolute boost. Art and Soraka, though, I'm, I'm not a huge fan, but low-key, I mean, he cooked this game, I think, because we're four basic attackers, so, like, low-key, it's a cook. Even though I'm not a huge fan, like, I respect it, I see the angle, you know? Like, at first, you think, wow, what a noob, but you think about it for a second, you're like, hmm, we do have four basic attackers. Because I'm a basic attacker, too, due to my passive, uh, in a way, I just don't think you want to invest into attack speed. I think that's a wasted stat on this champion. Did that make up for all the pike ganks? No, I wasn't complaining about Soraka. Like, I think Soraka just doing her thing was fine. I mean, the only time I complained about Soraka is when he walks from out of tri-brush in melee range of jacks, or like, jump range. That might be a bad idea. And I didn't want to go in because I knew there's multiple people there, so I was just con con concerned, you know? That's dance because this game, their damage is rather middlings to low, and I have Soraka on my team, so if I can stay alive with Kaelult, Soraka healing, I'm going to be broken as fuck, so... Uh, this game, if I'm just a bit more bruiserish, I think it's pretty good. In general, though, I will say I do think Desdan's second is good on this champion. I could ult this guy, but Loki, I don't really want to. He's useless. <clears throat> Holy fuck, I not killed her, by the way. The fucking bitch lap just killed her. But uh, I think this is the best way to build this champion, unironically. It's like a very bruiserish, like Shojin into bruiser. I actually like it the most. I'm not convinced that Cleaver is better than going, for example, um... I'm not convinced that Cleaver is better than, um... The Sundered Sky second, if you're not going to stance. But I think Death Dance should be a part of your three core, and I think Sundered Sky is better than Cleaver. That's where I'm at. If you want to buy a cleaver, buy it. I don't give a fuck. Do what you want. This game, obviously, a unique scenario. Um, this item. This champion. Yes, it works. That's why I'm buying it. I would never buy this otherwise. I would go Sunder Sky every time. But due to the nature of the Soraka champion on my team, I will definitely profit from healing uh, extra and shielding. And it'll also allow me to play, like, really aggressively in the front and give my team the space they need to play the game freely. Alright, I'll just walk up here. I was just uh, seeing if I could catch her, uh, and then I would go on her. Starx? I think it's fine. No way of scaling your HP, though, so... Uh, no inherent scaling on HP, I mean, so I'm not, like, super, super fan of it, but it's definitely not a bad item, if you will. I think you should build it like Riven more than anything else. And Riven, her best builds in competitive play have always been, or like her best builds outside of solo queue. I'm low on energy, so that makes it a bit awkward. If there's someone here, I might lose, but I want to test limits and fight anyway. Yeah, I don't win 1v2 there, unfortunately, but uh, I wanted to test limits. I mean, if I spend my gold, I probably would, and I was like... If I spend my 2k gold, I probably would beat them 1v2, but I don't when I don't spend my gold. That makes sense. I was also out of energy. That's my bad. <clears throat> I should have uh, been a bit more mindful with my energy. I was just spamming it and not refreshing it off the waves. Spamming spells, getting around, and then you have no energy, and if you have no energy, you, do, you are a bit more vulnerable for sure, because you can't spam Q. The one thing that I am so grateful for is that they made her Q2 cost 70 energy. Like, well played, right? Well played. Well played to you. I think this champion, um, I think nerfing her energy costs to 80 might be a, a worthy nerf as well. Uh, 80 across the board. I think being able to use all three spells immediately in uh, consecutive order uh, is not necessary. Because right now I can do a full combo with basicing once after IQ, which is, uh, I think, unnecessary. I think having 80 across the board and making me use two spells is reasonable enough. You know, when I was complaining about the Kale not playing the game, that's because I have PTSD from the Kale players that don't do anything after farming the whole game. This guy, fortunately, turned on the gas... Uh, he turned on the stove to a maximum and started juicing. In which case, I respect 
Then he was just playing for his win condition. But, you know, we've all been there. We've all been there. We've all had that guy that just doesn't end up doing shit after AFKing the whole game. He actually turned on the gas stove and carried the game alone, so... Okay, not alone, but... No, really, he didn't do anything. But you get my point. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me. It's 4am over here, so I'm gonna take a break. This champion's broken.